Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Diorama Builder, which is a nice, calm, laid-back game about building models in a diorama. Of course it is, and that's kind of it really. We pick a set to build, and then we just go and build it. It's as simple as that. Now we did play this a few Christmases ago, and it was really very lovely indeed. It was just nice and straightforward and simple, and I've had a very hectic few days recently, so I thought we should pop back and do some more diorama building, and we can just, you know, we can take it easy. We can go at our own pace. There's no pressures. We can just do things nice and slow and calm and relaxed, and that all sounds very, very wonderful indeed. Now, this game is part of Steam Simfest Hobby Edition thing that's going on at the moment, where they're showcasing all sorts of hobby type games, and of course, a game like this fits perfectly into that kind of category. And if you're interested in the game, then as always, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below, so you can go and take a look if you would like to. But anyway, I think let's get on with it, shall we? Let's get diorama building. Okie doke, so here we go. Now these are the dioramas that we can choose from, and when we played this last time, which was around Christmas 2020 I think it was, we chose to complete the Old West diorama. So we placed down 240 pieces, and we got this wonderful sort of Wild West type scene over here, which was very good indeed. Now you might be thinking, hang on a minute, you played this around Christmas time, and you didn't do the Merry Christmas diorama, what is wrong with you? When we played the game, the Christmas diorama wasn't there. We couldn't do Merry Christmas because it wasn't there. We only had a choice of Old West best crime scene and World War II, I think it was. So we couldn't do that one at the time, so that's why we went for Old West. Now you might notice as well that crime scene is also complete and World War II is complete. That's because my son played this game. He likes this game and he completed those two. So we've got three complete in total. We're not going to do Merry Christmas right now because that would seem a bit silly given that it's coming up to April. So we can either choose to do Asian Home or Egyptian Temple. I do like the sound of the Asian Home one. I mean, it's a very big build. It's got 450 pieces to it, which is quite a lot. Um, but yeah, I think we should go for that. I think let's go for the Asian home build. It looks all very nice and intricate. It's going to have lots of exciting sort of fancy bits all over the place and things that are hanging off of roofs and such like. So yeah, I think that could be quite interesting. I think let's have a go at this one here. Let's try and build ourselves a lovely Asian home diorama. And here we go. So our diorama has been unboxed. I assume we put it off camera somewhere. So all the bits are sort of accessible to us and we're going to build it on this little sort of table here. And when we kind of mouse over it, we can see a few bits and bobs of the sort of, you know, the particular building blocks which should be going into those places because we are building a kind of prescribed thing, if you like. It's a bit like a kind of, you're building a Lego set, I suppose. When you follow the instructions in Lego, all the right bits go in the right places and you can just sort of, you know, dismantle it and build what you like, but you can and follow instructions to build a particular kind of thing. So that's what we're going for here. We're building a sort of, you know, a certain thing to a certain set of instructions. The only thing is we've got to find all the different bits and bobs. Now you can have it like this. And I think if you press E, there we go, that shows you the entire thing. So this is the entire build. It's quite big. It's a very big thing with many, many bits. So, okay, now how do we get rid of that? And I think if we press Q, is it? There we go. So this shows the bits that we can put down right now. So let's go over to all of our sort of component parts. Now I think we're going to have to start with the house, base and deck. So I think let's go there. So we've got a few of these kind of, is that nature actually? Hang on, I saw a nature thing just there. So are there any big kind of lumpy rock type things? It looks like there might be some lumpy rock type things. Ah, there we go. And we've placed our first piece. Only 449 to go. Wonderful. Um, okay, there's another one of those somewhere. So is that that one there possibly? Nope, it's not that one there. Is that that one there? No, no joy with that. The only thing about these rocks is they kind of all look a bit the same. Um, there is a fish just there. There's a little fish just there, I think. Is that is that what that is? It looks like there's a little fish. I assume this is sort of, you know, in the water then. Okay, right, hang on. There's a fish. Okay, right, hang on. Can we find the other fish? Because if we just get them in, that's some nice easy bits all complete. There's also a big sort of, what is that? Like a pond or something? Ah, yeah, it's definitely that just there. And that looks like that just there. Okay, that's like sand or something. I imagine that might look a little bit better when we've completed more of the kind of diorama. Oh, there's something there. What's that? That looks like that. I don't know what that is. Just like green kind of mold or whatever it is. Right, there's kind of like a planty thing just there. Very technical wording going on. Planty thing. Um, what kind of planty thing is that? Is it? Is it that? Uh, no, it is not that. It doesn't look like that either. No. Is it one of these? Is it a sticky looking thing? No, it's that. It's that just there. It's that just there. Of course it is. 
Okay. Ah, here we go. There's five of these as well. They're turtles. They're little teeny tiny turtles. Oh, that is adorable. There we go. Look, is that what they are? Um... Oh, no, they're not turtles. Oh, I thought they were turtles. No, they're like plant bases. They're not teeny tiny turtles at all. <laughs> I got unduly excited about teeny tiny turtles. Um, okay, so hang on. Hang on. Oh, this is very good. There we go. So ping, lots of things kind of appearing in here. Oh, okay. That's not the right kind of pointy sticky thingamajig. Uh, okay. Right, they're curved. Ah, they're the curved ones. Okay. So now are there tops to these? Yes, there are. Um... Okay, whereabouts are the tops? Uh, big kind of leafy looking. Is it those? Uh, no. Are they individual leaves? Have we got to put individual leaves? Oh, yeah, look at that. Individual leaves have to go on. Okay, right. I mean, this is a sizable number of parts. This will bring our kind of sort of parts total down quite a lot because there are an awful lot of these. Is that kind of all there is on here? Oh, my goodness me. There's loads at the top of here. I don't think there's anything else on there. I don't think... Oh, no, hang on. Yes, there is. There's another secret one hiding just there, you sneaky thing. Okay, there we go. I think that's that one complete. Um, this requires another another thing. Hang on. That requires another sticky bit. And that requires another sticky bit. Um, okay, so that doesn't have anything on the top. And this has just got loads more kind of... Whatever they are. Fronds or whatever they are. Le leafy bits. So let's just throw all of those in. Nice and calm. I like this because there's no pressure. There's no pressure. And if you get it wrong, it goes a bit red and wibbly. And that's kind of it. You don't lose points. Nothing bad happens. He just goes, no, that doesn't go there. Try again. Take your time. Think about it. Have a little bit of tea. I do have some tea. I've got some tea with me right now. Uh, it is Yorkshire decaf. It's not Yorkshire Gold, it's Yorkshire Decaf, because I'm recording this relatively late. So, yeah, I've got some decaf tea, but it's still very, very nice indeed. And there we go. I think that is kind of these plants over here in this corner all sorted out. And they're not turtles. Okay, there's a kind of a lumpy thing just there. Is that that? Wonderful. These are not nature. Right, there's a fish, and that's good, because now we've got rid of one of the parts in here, which is very handy indeed. That is possibly that, is it? Okay, yep. Yeah big kind of lumpy thing. Ah, here we go. More of these things. This is where the rest of these parts are going to go. Okay, so drop those in. Very good. And then zoom out a bit. Swivel it around. Right, so we've got kind of a sort of leaning one just there and a leaning one just there. And then one of the straight up ones like that. Oh, that's a big tall one. Okay. And then one at the bottom like that. Okay, so that short one there doesn't have leaves on the top. Neither does that. However, these ones do. And I think if we do this, then we should have got rid of all of our kind of leaves. I imagine this is going to clear this list down quite nicely. So there we go. So that's that one sorted. And then we go over to here like so and drop those in. Yeah, this will sort out those leaves because now we've got two leaves left. And yeah, it goes in there, look. So there we go. We've cleared another thing out of the nature kind of objects, which is all very good indeed. I noticed there are sort of, there's a little nest there. I would kind of expect the nest to go into one of the trees. Maybe it appears somewhere else. Maybe it's somewhere else. I do not know. Okay, so I think, oh, hang on. There's a thing over here. There's a thing. There's a planty thing. Hang on. There we go. That completes that as well. And that's quite good. So the nature thing is all on one screen now, which is nice. Okay. So we have got, I assume that's there. Okay, yep, yeah, that's good. And is there another rock type thing? Is there another big kind of blob of rock anywhere? Because there is one just there. Um, oh no, hang on. Is that going around the bottom of an existing thing? I don't know. I don't know where that, I don't know where that goes. I'd expect it to go at the bottom somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where it fits. I'm not sure. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a thing. There's a thing. Is that that? No. Is that that? No. It's. It looks like it should be one of these. Th or is it that? It might be that. Okay. Yes. Ah. There's a little tree. Okay. Is it you? No. Is it you? Yes, it is. Right. And then some leafy things on the little tree. Okay. Right. We're doing well. We're doing well. I kind of feel like we should start building the actual house. I think we might have used up everything we can with our sort of nature stuff right now. 
got big kind of pillars and things to put in. But okay, that's fine. So um, yeah, if you want to, I quite like this mode. I like this mode where you can see what the next things are that we have to place. Um, if you want to, you can just sort of take everything off. You can just have it like that and kind of mouse over where things might be. But I find that a little bit, it's a little bit fiddly. So I prefer to have this kind of thing on. So if you press Q on the keyboard, it shows you things that you can you know, start building. So let's get rid of nature. Let's go to yeah house base and deck. Okay, so there's a big kind of chunky looking thing just there. Uh, right, that's got to be, that's got to be, hang on. That's got to be just there. Okay, and then, ah, there we go. And that's a big base looking thing just there. And that's got to go on the top. Okay, right, this is looking good. Then we have quite a lot of pillars by the look of it. But okay, that's fine. We can put these and there's 26 of these. <laughs> My goodness. Um, okay, right. Many, many kind of sort of wooden support pillary type things going in. But okay, drag all those in. And of course, as we're placing these, that means that we can then add more bits. So you can see that things will start appearing, like these sort of horizontal sort of uh, beam things have appeared. Okay, now are they the same ones tucking in here? Yes, they are. Okay, so this is going to make like a walkway, I imagine, around the house. I guess that's what's going on here. So if we do like that, there's loads of these. Hang on a minute, hang on. Let's get all these in. So there we go. Down to seven, down to six, just there. Five, four of them, three of them, two of them, and one of them. And I've missed one out. Where is it? Uh, oh, it's there. It's there. It's hiding in the midst of the kind of sticky things. Okay. So we put some kind of pillar things down. And now we're going to need to get ourselves. Now, what's that? Is that that? Like a kind of walkway type thing? Yes. Okay. We can do that. That's good. And then we've got these kind of horizontal bar things going in. Okay. So pop those in. Ah, hang on. There's something just there. So now we've put this kind of block in over here, this big kind of stone block. There's more nature stuff that can go in. So let's drop that back down there. It looks like sort of that. Yeah, there we go. Is there more of that we can put on anywhere else? Now that we've sort of placed more bits and bobs. Um, oh, hang on. There's definitely something there. What's that? There's definitely something there. I can't, I don't know. Is that that? Oh yeah, it's a load of green stuff. <laughs> Yay for the green stuff. And there we go. That's where that rock bit goes. And here is a big bit of tree. Oh, it's a huge bit of tree. Um, okay. That bit there, I assume. Uh, okay. Oh, that's very lovely. Okay. Then we'll stick that bit of tree on. And then there's a load of leaves. Oh, not leaves, like little sort of sort of uh, blossom type things, which is all very nice. Okay. Yep. Let's add all of these. It's very pretty, isn't it? I like this. Right, so they can all go on in some sort of haphazard sort of fashion, but there we go. Ah, is that the nest? That's the little bird nest. Very good. Right, there are some sort of flower bits there. Do they fit on the side like that? Is that where they go? Yep, okay, that's fine. Got five lots left. So four lots. There's some at the end there. Some at the top just there. I think there's a few over there. There's one lot of these. Where are they? Ah, they're all the way over here hiding behind the tree from where we were looking before. Okay, so now we have a nice sort of tree all set up as well with a little bird's nest in, which is all very nice. Okay, so that's looking good. Ah, and the tree has got kind of sort of vine type things growing on it. So we'll drape them over, which is very good. I like that. That's nice attention to detail. And there's another sort of vine thing there as well. Uh, that's that one, isn't it? Okay, so that I think is the tree over here mostly sorted oh no no there's another thing there's a thing just there um uh that thing is it okay and this is like a tree stump type thing okay this is a smaller tree so pop that on the top and there we go and already we're on 145 out of 450 pieces i mean that's pretty good going a lot of it is the kind of nature stuff we are still lacking a little bit of the nature stuff we've got a few things left and what's that it's got a block of ice or something. I don't quite know what that is. But okay, so shrink that out of the way for now. That's a big crate. So that can go just there. That's obvious. And there is kind of like a, a sort of a, <laughs> a fish bone there for some reason. But okay, we'll put that there. And then there's sort of two sideways panels. Is that them? Okay, yeah, like a sideways panel-y thing. 
Uh, oh, is it? Ah, it's like a bench. It's like a little bench. And we'll put another fish bone on the top. And people need to dispose of their waste responsibly. Um, okay, right. So that's good. So now do we need to put all of these kind of side beam type things in? Oh, there's little uprights as well. Oh, my word. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. That's why there are so many bits. Because there is a lot of attention to detail. Okay, now how are they going to go in? Um, where are all those bits? Are they those? Little tiny bits? No. Uh, ah, here, of course, it's those bits. Yes, because they look like them penge. Okay, so drag and drop those in. Nice and simple. I do like this. It's all right. Now, look, it's just so nice and calm. And I'm just completing like, a great big kind of 3D jigsaw type thing, which is very good. Okay, so drop those in there and drop that in there. And I don't think there are any under here. No, so that's that complete. Now, do we have some more big platform type things? Yes, we've got one there, one there, and one there. So now there's... What is that? Uh, drop that in. I'm not quite sure what that is. Some sort of lamp, possibly? Is that like a little sort of lamp thing that would light up eventually? I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then we've got a load of uprights against so that, those. Okay, so some more uprights going in. So let's drop those in whilst we're here. Ah, we've got we've got health and safety considerations. Yay, there we go. We've got sort of railings or whatever they are, like rope barrier type things. So we don't fall in, apart from over here where we might fall in. Um, okay, where are they? Uh, rope, kind of barrier, thingamajigs. Uh, there, there they are. Okay, oh, they're individual as well. There's 25 of these. Oh, crikey. Okay, right, there's many of these. And they're not in pairs over here. So we have to put them on individually. That's fine. So clip those in and attach that and attach that. Very nice. I mean, is there anything else we can do up here? Because there's a lot of the same sort of stuff. There's great big kind of chunky bits sticking out here. Is that them? No. What is that sticking out there then? I don't know. I kind of feel like we need to complete this bit. It might be a bit fiddly. There's a boat somewhere. There's a boat. Because look, there's all sorts of boaty bits. The thing is, where does the boat go? I imagine does the boat go on a dock? So, oh, hang on. I haven't completed this. There's a thing there. Hang on, hang on. There's an upright beam thingamajig just there. Is there anything else that we can complete over here? Ah, some more railing sort of uh, barrier type things. Um, yeah, I was expecting a boat, because this is obviously a dock of some description. But yeah, we can't put the boat sort of stuff in quite yet, because it's an oar and a boaty sort of, I don't know, base, the bottom of a boat and various other bits and bobs. Okay, maybe that will come obvious when we do these. So let's put all of these nice side bits in, like that. And we'll drop the angled bits in as well, do them individually. So there we go, and I imagine... Yep, yeah, there we go. So pop the top on, which is very good. And then we've got a couple more upright bits. This is all good. And then a couple of ropey bits. What number are we on now? 205 out of 450. So not quite halfway, but we are getting there. We are soldiering on through this. Right, okay, so let's get these in. So drop those onto there and those down. To there. Right, that's the last one of those, which is good. So we'll drop these things in as well. There's quite a few of these left. There's 14 of those. So there's going to be a few more of these dotted around somewhere, I imagine. But okay, that's fine. We'll go down to eight. So hang on. If there's four there, have we missed some out, possibly? Have I missed some out? That is highly likely. Hang on, let's try and zoom in and get these in place. So yeah, we're down to five and then four, which would imply there is one more kind of platformy thing. But okay, yeah, and look, there is. There is one more platform, you think, because there's one left just there. Ooh, a big barrelly thing. Is that that? Yes. And it's got metal rings around it. There we go. Pop the metal rings around it. Very good. Okay, so some more upright bits. I imagine we're going to get some more ropes in a minute. There we go. All right, so drop all these in. I think that will complete this bit of the dock, by the look of it. This sort of walkway type thing. Uh, let's try and zoom in kind of at that angle there we go so drop that in drop that in that's one of these weird kind of whatever they are kind of yeah like there must be a lantern type thing oh hang on do not click that right there we go um and then yeah we've got some more rope type stuff going on so there we go drag these in 
So yeah, we'll get all these sorted. And then yeah, that is bring our numbers down a little bit more. Right, we're over halfway. Because halfway of 450 uh, would have been, maths with Penge, uh, 225, I am fairly sure. Yes, it would have been. So we're well over that. We've got about 200 bits left. But yeah, we've done pretty well so far. We've done very well. So a ladder. Okay. I would have thought a ladder would be really, really obvious to see. But I can't see a ladder anywhere here. So have we now moved on to a different bit? Are we on ground floor, possibly? Um, is there a ladder? Right, there's a ladder. Okay, right. That's Apparently that's not the right ladder. That's not the ladder we're looking for. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Is it in here? I'm fairly sure it's not in here. There's probably people going, there's a ladder right there. It's just there. I'm, I'm, okay, right. I, I was wrong. Entirely horribly wrong. There we go. <laughs> right. That's that done. Um, yeah, I don't know where all these are going to go. I don't know where all these are going to go. Because it seems to me like they should already be placed. Because this is kind of, you know, the house base and the deck. So whereabouts do all these things go? I do not know. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, we'll maybe come back to that. We'll have to come back to it. Right, so ground floor. We've got some sticky out bits. Where are these? Or are we still looking at house, base and deck? Is that them? Uh, no, that's not them. Uh, that's not... Ah, here we go. Here we go. It's these. It's these big sort of chunky red things. Okay, right. So big chunky red things being placed. Uh, ah, right, now I've got big platforms. Okay, so let's pop these in. So big chunky red things going in like so and like so. And then four great big kind of platforms. So have we got four of those? Uh, it doesn't look like we have. We've got four of other bits and bobs. I'm not entirely sure what that is just there. We've got one of those and that's kind of it. So maybe now we are on ground floor. Uh, ah, yeah, hang on. Yes, here we go. Right, so huge, big kind of building bits. And that one's got a hole in for the ladder to go in. Okay, here we go. Right, now we're getting into this. So red thing, red fence. Go around here, please. Drop the red fence in and a straight bit of red fence. And we've got red corners. So drop the red corners over where they belong. Very nice indeed. I like that we've got a splash of colour on this now. A little bit of red going on. That's nice. Ah, hang on. There's whatever that is. What are they? What are they supposed to be? Uh, is it those? No. Um, I don't know what they are. Ah, hang on. Is it that? Okay, yes. So we've got a couple of things there. And then there's a beam. That just there. And a coily thing in the middle. And then a little sort of hook. Hangy thing? Is it that just there? No, apparently not. Is it that one there? Um, oh, it's a bell. It's a bell. Okay, and then we need the kind of thing to ring the bell, which is that. Oh, that's nice. There's a bell over there. That's wonderful. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Is that a thing we need to put on? No, I think they're just grey. I think that's just grey kind of stuff. Okay, right. Yeah, it doesn't look see-through like this does. Okay, so back up to here we go. So now we've got a big barrel over in the corner. So there you go. Big barrel with the circly bits going round it. So drop that in and drop that in. There's kind of like a sort of a big tub thing just there. No, oh, hang on. There's a big box. That's got to be easy to spot. Big crate just there. And then we've got a bag on the top possibly. Yep, yeah, like a bag of, sort of grain or whatever. There's another bag just there. Very nice. There is a kind of a floating thing. Well, there's the ladder. We'll put the ladder in. Um, and then we've got, I imagine that's that big wall just there. Okay. So now we've got several things on the wall, but let's complete whatever that might be first. What is that that? Just there? No. Is that that just there? Yes, it is. And then there's a little table. Okay. I imagine there's going to be various bits and bobs upon the table. So there's a kind of a mat like so. Oh, and that's got, oh, is they chopsticks? They might, they might possibly be chopsticks, maybe. They look like them. Um, and a couple of little bowls. I imagine they've got food in, possibly. Um, and then whatever that might be. I'm not entirely sure what that is. 
a, a lever of some sort or a switch. I don't know what that is, but okay. Right, then, ah, there we go. That's what that is. A fancy kind of ornate looking vase thing um, with some sticks in it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Some of the sticks are kind of angled. So that looks like an angled stick. That looks angled. And the three at the back are straight. There we go. Pop those in. Very nice. Nice splash of colour. That looks nice as well. Fancy kind of bars thing going on. Right, and then we've got a little thing on the floor. Right, that goes there. And that's got a pot on top of it, has it? And the pot has a lid, because of course it does. I imagine when it's complete. Because you can interact with things, I think, when it's complete. I imagine we might be able to take the pot uh, sort of lid off and have a look inside. All right, we'll have a lamp. Just there, kind of floating on nothing right now, but that's okay. Um, that sort of yin-yang symbol looks like goes in the middle. And then we've got a couple of sort of uh, like a sort of banner type things hanging like that. Okay, right, and now some more stuff has appeared. So now we can move on to walls. Okay, so a wall there and a wall there and a sort of wall with a doorway in it just there. And then we've got... What's that? Oh, the frame. It's kind of like a frame. Yeah, okay, right. So, window frame. And spin this round. Look at the beautiful kind of blossoms. Uh, go to there. And then the shutters. Well, this is fair. Hang on, that's the door. We'll put the door in first. And then we've got shutter there. And a shutter there. I imagine when we come to play with the thing, we can open and close the shutters as well. So, that there and that there. Then there's things on the corner as well. Oh, there's like red kind of support type things oh they look very nice right okay so drop that in and drop that in so 322 out of 450 pieces we're doing very well with this right okay so these are all sort of corner bits okay so drop these in and then oh okay we've got sort of hangy type things uh they've got candles in have they um, they seem to be lighting up. Are we supposed to do something with these? Oh, hang on. Do we do we build? Oh, oh, I see. Right. Okay. Okay. I see. Now the other thing is, where? What, what are these? <laughs> what are those little things? I don't know what they are. Do they go inside? Possibly. I don't know. Did we miss that? Are we supposed to go inside and place those little? Uh, oh, the camera's getting very weird. I don't think we are. Uh, oh, there's only one. There's only one thing. Okay. So hang on a second. So get one of those and then fit it with its two sort of halves around the mesh framework. Same goes for that one. And then sort of uh, outside and outside and outside and outside. Okay. And then we're just left with that thing. Whatever that is, I'm not entirely sure. Where does that go? Um... Okay, I don't know where that lives. Does it live on a box or something? I don't know. It doesn't live on that crate by the look of it. I don't know where that goes. <laughs> we have a mystery item that I'm not entirely sure where to place. Okay, right, it's, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Um, okay, so first floor, because that is where we now are. So we've got ourselves a few bits. So a bit there and a bit there and a bit there. And that bit is angled because the ladder is coming up. Okie doke. Right, there's a... Uh, I don't know what those things are. What are they? Like mats of some description? Like a mat. And on top of that is another mat. And there's like a little pillowy type thing across the top there. Okay, looks like a bed, I'm thinking. Uh, there's four sort of rolled up things. What are they? Little sort of... I don't know what they are. Not entirely sure what they are, but there's four of them, and they look like little sort of rolled up scrolly parchment things. Um, ah, they're in a box with a lid. Okay, a fancy box of scrolls or whatever. Very nice. Um, right, that looks like it's that. Is that a massive sword? That just looks like a huge, very difficult to use sword, unless that's kind of the sword in some sort of gigantic kind of sheath type thing. Uh, okay, that's fine. And then we've got a little sort of thingamajig there and another one there possibly they might be sandals they might be like little sort of sandal type things that's obviously that um and then we've got some shelves to go in okay right what's that that's clearly that but i don't know what that is 
Um, oh, it's a it's a little sort of lantern type thing. Okay. And then we've got another big kind of roll of sort of parchment across there. And then we've got lots of these. What are these? Drag all these in, but I'm not entirely sure what they are. Oh, it's clothing. It's clothing. It's like sort of, you know, tops and things. Hang on a minute. They're shoes. So they can go in like that. Nice pair of comfy slippers. Um, okay. Right. And there's something on top of that. Oh, hang on. There's just some which are in piles like so and then we can put the doors on here we go this is very good okay so that's now sorted so i think yeah this is kind of like the bedroom of our sort of asian kind of residence which is very nice and then we've got a big wall just there with a hatch type thingamajig on it oh we've got stabby weapons we've got sort of katana type blades i'm not really sure uh, they uh, they might not be katanas i'm not entirely sure but yeah big kind of you know fancy very wonderful very beautiful fantastically balanced kind of swords i'm sure um okay right now what <laughs> how do we get the rest of the where's the rest of the building how do we get the rest of the building in right so this is where we've hit a little bit of a snag because it looks like we oh hang on hang on there's something in there look it's the oh it's the inside of that ah hang on a minute ground floor can we go into here did we have a lantern of some description yes just that it needs an inside does it is, is that what it needs i think it does ground floor yes okay We've completed the ground floor. Hooray! And we get some fancy stars. Thank you, game. Right, so we've completed one of the floors. I didn't realise that's what those things were. Okay. Okay, right. Okay, that makes sense. Right, back we go to here. Right, so walls and walls. What we are? 381 out of 450 pieces. Uh, okay. We've now got the red kind of corner, supporty, make it look really pretty kind of thingamajigs going in. That's very nice as well. We've got some window frames. So we'll pop that frame in there. And that frame in there. And that frame in there. Right, then we've got four roof bits. So I imagine, yeah, we'll have four roof bits. And then off of those roof bits, we'll hang the little sort of metal thingamajigs like that. And we'll put the orange sort of outsides on that one. Nice. Another kind of lantern type thing. Make that look very pretty. And then on this side as well. So repeat and repeat put orange thing on put orange thing on i'm sure the orange thing has a name but i'm just calling it orange thing because that seems to do the job right and then we've got a window kind of shutter type thing and a shutter and a shutter and then we've got a pointy ah on the top on the top it's a pointy thing on the top okay the first floor is complete okay so the sort of the main structure of the house i kind of feel is done so yeah, we've completed, we've completed the first floor and we've completed the ground floor. So now we're just down to house, base and deck and nature. But I'm not entirely sure where we should go next. Hang on. Do we get any clues? Ah, there's some little side bits down here that I haven't put in. I imagine when we put those in, we can carry on. Nope. Okay. I was going to say we can carry on building this dock area, but no, it's not happening. I know because there's these other side bits. There we go. Pop that in, pop the other side bit in, and here we go. Now we get to complete this. Oh, that's a load of water. It's not a big block of ice. It's the water level to make things underwater. Okay, right, that makes sense. Right, so let's get that, drag that kind of platform thing in, and then we've got a few upright bits. So have that upright bit, have that upright bit, and then we've got the ropes, so a rope and a rope. And then here we go. The ropes are going to be complete as well. So we're edging ever closer to completion. Look at that. We're slowly getting through these things. Right, then we've got some stuff over here. Is that another one of those? Okay, so another kind of lantern type thing. Um, and then we've got whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Is it some sort of... Some sort of thing that you would sort of hitch a boat to. You'd sort of wrap rope around it. It looks a bit rusty. Um, okay, right. I think now we have to put the water in. I think the water is the next thing. There we go. 
We've got the water in and now we can complete some of the nature stuff. So there's a nice lily pad and there's a nice lily pad over there. We've got, right, hang on, the boat is there. We'll come to the boat in a second. We've got sort of uh, lily pad type things there. We've got one of the sort of very pretty flowery looking ones just there. Let's go around this side. Ah, there's a little collection of them over here. So a big one in the middle and two of the little ones around the edge, I assume. Yep, very nice. Oh, look at this. These are hiding, you cunning little things. They're hiding away under there. Okay, there's another one of those. We're very close to completing the whole nature thing. Look at that. We've got four of these little tiny ones remaining. Oh, look at this. They're going to be really hard to spot. So there's two just there. And there's another two lurking around somewhere on the water's surface. Um, okay, there they are. They're right next to the boat. So there we go. And there we go. And we've completed the nature object. There we go. Okay, so we've got lots of lovely colour going on now. Lots of green, which is very nice. That looks wonderful. That looks really, really pretty. Okay, right. Down to the boat. I think this is it. We're on the sort of, yeah, the home straight now. So, um, boaty sort of bottom bit, boat base. I don't know what you'd call it. Then another bit of boat base. Then we've got, hang on. Is that the, hang on. What's that then? Uh, oh no, then it's this kind of outside bit of the boat. Okay. And then there's a, ah, there's a fishing rod. Have we caught that fish? Is that, oh no, the fish isn't quite caught, but that's the kind of plan, I imagine. Uh, and then there's a number of seats in the boat, by the look of it. So a seat just there, and a seat just there. That looks like a box at the back, where you put all your things, and it's got a little lid, which is very good. And then I think we can put the front of the boat in. Then we've got a kind of rope thing. There we go. It is to attach the boat to. Look, we've tied the boat on. We're kind of moored or whatever the word is. And we have one thing left. We've placed 449 parts. This here, this ore, is the final bit. And when we place that, it's done. We will have completed our wonderful Asian home. And it looks very nice indeed. So here we go. Let's put this on. And then, yeah, I think then we can go and have a bit of a play. We can go and sort of interact with it in a very limited sort of way. So there we go. House, base and deck is complete and it's all done. Hooray! We've completed the diorama Asian home. Now the diorama will enter the interaction mode. In this mode, some objects will be clickable. Find them and have fun with what happens. Also click on these icons to switch between day and night states. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh look, the fish are moving. The fish are moving. Oh, I like that. So the thing you've built comes to life and the blossoms are drifting off the tree. That's very pretty. I like the fact that the fish are moving about. That's very nice. And the boat is sort of gently kind of gently sort of swaying in the water, implying that we're on like a, you know, a river or something like that. You know, the water is moving about a bit. But yeah, the fish are sort of pootling about the place. Hello, fish. Can we click on you? Okay, so we can't click on the fish. So not everything is going to interact, I don't think. If we click on the blossom, does it shake any off? No. Ah, but there we go. We can see it does some stuff. So yeah, highlights the things that we can interact with. Um, ah, we can interact with the fishing rod. Ah, okay. Yep, yeah, we can sort of move the fishing rod around a bit. There you go. Can we light those? Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Okay, so if we switch it to, um, switch it to night time, yeah, all of those things come on. That is very... That's very pretty. Oh, they light up so nicely. And because we put the orange kind of, I don't know what it is, surround kind of stuff on, they've got a lovely kind of orange glow to them. That's very nice. So I imagine we can uh, we can ring the bell. Yep. Okay. Right. Yep. Not quite as loud as I thought it might, but okay, that's fine. So we can ring the bell. And yes, yeah, so I think that's kind of it for downstairs. So yeah, we can now kind of open these. Have a little look inside what's going on. So we can poke into here. Ah, there we go. Let's go and look at this pot. Because we did speculate whether we could do something with that. Ah, yeah, what's this as well? Hang on, hang on. Go to the pot first. And there we go. We've got some delicious food in the pot that we can eat with our, with our sort of, you know, our chopsticks and our bowls over there. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh, it's an incense sort of stick burner thing. Of course it is. Yes, it's an incense sort of burner type thing. Okie doke, that makes sense. Right, so that's what we can do in this room. Very nice. I'm going to cover that back up. I'm going to cover that back up because I don't want it to go cold. There we go, so we've covered that up. 
the tree is still looking very nice. Uh, and then if we go into the top in here, yeah, do you know what? Open that. Oh, it opens up. Oh, look at that. It's got a little kind of support type thing. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna poke in. Oh, hang on. What was that? What can we do with those? Oh wait. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Transformer house. Right. Okay, is, is that how these buildings operate normally? I'm very surprised. I imagine it just makes it easier to kind of navigate, but it does look very fun. There you go, look, we <laughs> Transformer House. Right, the sword rack and, oh, oh, the swords are, they're, they're dueling. We have dueling blades. Oh, this is very good. I like that. Okay, and away you go. I don't know who won that fight, but it was very, very lovely to see. Okay, right, that's very good. And um, we can't click on the little shoe things. Uh, we can click on that, so we can see what's in there. So just a few bits of clothing. We can light the little sort of lamp thing. Um, and then over here, we can open this box. And inside are some things. Not 100% sure what the things are. But there's definitely some things in there, which we just saw. Okay, there we go. It looks very pretty. Do you know what we could do? Switch it onto night mode. So it looks all moody and kind of, you know, there's nice shadows everywhere. And these things are casting lots of lovely sort of flickering light. It's all very nice. And then go and do the kind of exciting sword fight thing again. But at night time, I assume here we can turn these off. Look, we can manually turn them off. It looks better with them on. There you go. Well done. Well done. Good fighting magical blades. And then, yeah, there you go. The tree is still sort of, you know, shedding its blossom even in night time. It looks very pretty. Do the um, big planty things do anything? I don't think they do. I'm not entirely sure they do. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we've interacted with everything. I think that might well be it. But look at that. We started with nothing at all. It was flat. It was flat. And we were wondering what all these things were. And how were we going to build a boat. And all that kind of stuff. And we got excited about the fish. And from nothing. From just a flat kind of thing. From just a flat table. And a box of bits. We've put together this our wonderful Asian home. And it looks very good indeed. There we go. That was lovely. I did enjoy that. And it, it's so calm. It's so lovely and relaxing and laid back. There's no kind of pressures at all. If you wanted to build just you know, half of it and just go away and just I don't know, do some meditating or go and read a book or something, you could do that and come back and just pick up where you left off and it would be absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, there we go. That was very nice. I liked that. Just sort of lovely and laid back and calm. I mean, I've been sort of rambling on a bit, so my tea, I think, might have gone a little bit cold, but that's fine. I'll go and make some more tea. That's the plan. I'll make some more tea, and then come back and just sort of, again, just admire our work and just look at all the loveliness. It looks. I think it looks better at night, if I'm honest. It looks very nice in the day, but I think at night, it's got a bit more character to it with the kind of lantern things and all the flickering lights and such like. It looks a little bit sort of, looks prettier at night time, I think. So there we go. We've completed it. We have finished the Asian home diorama and mighty wonderful it looks too with all sorts of bits and bobs going on. It's very pretty indeed. But uh, yeah, we can't do much more because it's finished. We've interacted with everything. So um, yeah, I think that's it. I think we need to finish up for now. But yeah, it's been very nice. I remember playing this last time and it was just, it was just sort of a thoroughly laid back, very easy going kind of experience. And we've had that again this time. Just lots of lovely kind of clicking. You get the nice rewards when things plop into place. And I mean, yeah, we did it on the sort of the sort of, I'd like to think of it as the sort of, you know, follow, you're following instructions kind of mode. So it's telling you what bit to place next. You've got to go and find the right bit from your box of kind of, you know, components. But it's telling you, you know, you need to put a pillar just there. We had it on that kind of mode, which I think I prefer. You could, if you wanted to, for a bit more of a challenge, take all those kind of things off and just have to find each individual component yourself. But I think, you know, that's not, for me, what this game is about. It's all about sort of just relaxing, building and clicking. You don't want to be sort of stressing out, trying to find where the next pillar is and all that kind of stuff. It's just nice to have that kind of information provided for you so you can just... You know, sit back and relax and enjoy the lovely buildy clicky experience so yeah there we go we shall finish up for now with our asian home complete hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up today with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time 
Yay! Okay, exciting things are happening. Where does Gigantic Big Stabby Knife live? They're D&D &D nerd and they've got a dice tower and they've got character sheets and they've got some dice. Oh, this is wonderful. Look at my best life. Oh my goodness me, so much undergarmentage. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Praise be, the kettle has been uncovered. 